G'day everyone, Ben here from Catch Pro in Australia. Um, just um, giving you my 200 hour review of my Bradley stand on 48 mask. So um, I was actually supposed to do this at 100 hours, um, but I just got super busy. So down here you can see 208 hours. Now, so for the folks in Australia, this is a Bradley mower, but it's been rebadged as a Parklander. So all of the Yankee folks watching on YouTube, um, it is a Bradley mower. Um, these are manufactured in China. It's an American company coming out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, and Parkland's power products just happen to have the shared manufacturing or something like that. And so they relabeled this and I got it into Australia. So now you'll also see I got a lot of different attachments on here. Um, I'll only talk quickly about these and then I'll get stuck into my review. So first of all, we have the ZTR trimmer rack. Um, by the way, all of these products are from Ballard Inc. in Iowa. Um, Ballard-Inc.com, you can find all these awesome products and um, we are the reseller for his products in Australia. So I am a contractor as well. Um, we have a business called Greenscape Solutions, but I also designed this side bagger. So available in the US and Australia. All right, so um, the next product is the advanced chute system, um, which is the operator controlled discharge chute. So really handy to have. Um, over here I have, I won't be able to operate this in the shed, but I do have like a little mount that I've put um, on the deck. Uh, well, it's not on the deck, it's on the height adjuster arm. And that allows me to carry my side bagger when I'm in transport because obviously it won't fit on my rig there. Um, over here, I just have a little ammunition box that I've put on there. Um, that was inspired by Ed Wright. He puts them on the standard Bs. And um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I can chuck bits and pieces in there when I'm doing my mowing job. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a new addition. It's the sit-on seat. So, um, you know, it's just heading into winter here now. And I've only had this on for like a week or two. So I haven't really had, um, you know, a full opportunity to crank that. But... Um, it's really there for just, um, number one, it's a concept that I wanted to try. You know, I've been mowing for 17 years now and stand-ons are pretty new in Australia. Um, you know, a lot of these products are new in Australia, but that was something that I really wanted to try out. Um, some of our followers know that I, in fact, use a stand-on because I have back issues and a lot of people are like, Oi, why are you chucking a seat on that thing? But really... It's on there for when I get into properties that are above, say, two and a half or three acres. I can now take a seat. Um, and my workers don't mind it too. So last little product before we get into the review is the Catch Pro uh, Cut Caddy. So a lot of these stand-on machines, I know there's a few, um, Skag, whatever, uh, they do have cup holders, but most of the other brands don't. So it's... Magnetic, you can just bung it anywhere and yeah, cruise along with your morning coffee or your water or whatever it is, rum and coke. Yeah, um, all right, cool. So, I am actually going to take my bagger off and get stuck into the review. Now, I have operated a few other um stand ons and some other sit down machines in my career so far. Um, we've we haven't had a ton of experience with the new stand-ons, but we've, we've had enough to know what we like and dislike. So this mower, um, whether you're in the US or Australia, it is a price point mower. They don't come with all the typical bells and whistles. It's a very simplistic design. Um, I've got to be honest, I love the simple design. Um, I think... You know, it doesn't have as many moving parts as some of the other mowers. There are some things that I'm unhappy with on this now that I've got amongst some of the other machines. So first of all, I'm just going to work my way around. So I cannot 
lift up my platform anymore um, at the moment, but under here, we're going to have a look at these. Oh, so we can't really see. So you've got the rubber um, shocks under there for your suspension for your ride. Now, that is like, seriously, the most simplistic design um, on this platform. And, you know, you see other brands, all these different springs and all this stuff. But this, guys, it is, you can't tell because it's got the seat on, but it is a really comfortable ride. Like, just to have the rubber shock absorbers, that's all it is. And it is, like, super comfortable. So, also with the pad, as you can see, it's a really simple flat pad some of them are bolstered <sighs> admittedly for me guys i just don't know whether i like the bolstered pads that much because what it actually does it, i know it keeps you locked into the machine but for me i just don't think it gives you enough room to be able to manipulate your actual ride um that flat pad really allows you to sort of get in whatever position you feel comfortable in um so so these are some of the simplistic features of this mower that I really love. Um, moving up to the tower, I mean, seriously, guys, this is gold. Now, there's a couple of other brands out there. I'm just not going to go into it with the other brands, but you can see this tower here, everything is accessible. So ignition, PTO, throttle, choke. Nothing, you don't have to go in here to get anything. Everything is up here. And all of this is completely exposed. There's a lot of other brands that, you know, have experimented with this tower and this operational panel being underneath here. And, you you know, you've got to turn your key on like this and do all this. This is like, you know, really simple and really awesome. Um, the operator presence switch is in the handle, which can be a little bit annoying. Um, admittedly guys, I've actually just unplugged mine, um, which is just this one switch here. I will plug it back in, um, usually when my boys are on it or if, uh, maybe I'm working in an area where I don't feel super safe when I'm in an open area or whatever, I just pull that out and then I don't really have to worry about this as much. So moving around to the handbrake. Um, very easy system out of the way. This handbrake doesn't stick up out of here. So, you know, it's, you're not going to hit trees when you're trying to use that. So that's something else that I really love. Um, the height adjuster. Now this is where the simplistic features of this mower come in. You can see here the spring, it's not a very large spring. Um, the deck is, it, you know, it's easy to operate but I do find it to be a little bit heavy. Um, a larger spring or something like that would actually make that a lot easier. Now, um, something that I'm just gonna point out, because that's the part they're up to, um, something that I don't like about this. So all of this height adjuster stuff, so this is great. You know, very easy to read. You just bang, choose your level, but, now I've jigged this up myself. I bought my own lanyard. I've got, you know, like an 11 mil uh, deadbolt. So I could choose me level, bang, it's all good. I can't lose it. But the pin system that they had was a deadbolt with a dog pin clip on the other side. And I mean, look, for the homeowner, it'd be cool. I know some of the Yanks that operate these machines, they might cut a whole bunch of lawns on one level. But here in Australia, we're up and down, you know, we're two inches here, then we get on a paddock, we're, you know, three and a half inches, we're just constantly changing the levels. And that system with the thing and the dog clip was seriously just a fail. And number, you know, to make it worse, you've got the exhaust mounted right here and this whole area gets hot as. And trying to get back here and taking out a dog clip is, uh, mate, it's just, yeah, fail. So anyway, look, this is a lot better. Um, so this system here is a lot better. Um, and, uh, you know, I believe pretty much any other brand on the market is going to win in that, in that um, compartment there.
Okay, so um, to the deck, guys. Now, look. This deck is solid as... Um, I mean, it's heavy duty. Um, I don't have the actual specs of the deck. Um, but, you know, anyone can say what they want about Chinese manufacturing. But I'm telling you now, this deck is solid. Um, I do have a problem with the deck. So, um, look, I've found that... It's a very powerful machine. We have the 24 Vanguard on here, which is a great engine. Um, 3400 Hydros, which are, are good. That, that's a good power combo. Um, however, underneath this deck here, it's very, very, very over baffled. So get in there and have a look. Um, so it, I don't know, it's this difficult to see. You've got your blades here. You've got all of these baffles over here, and then you've got all of this space behind here that is just, that's your actual deck there. So you can see, sort of, very, very, very over baffled. Now I have just taken out, there was another piece here and I have only just removed that. So I'm yet to see how effective that's gonna be, but I'm hoping that really helps disperse the clippings a little bit better because when I get into a really, really, really thick, beautiful grassed area, um, I've noticed that this deck just starts bogging down and with the components that it's running, you know, it really shouldn't bog down like that. So there's, there's things about this mower that are really great being simplistic, but there's things about the mower that you can really see does make it a price point mower. So we got like massive 23 inch tires on this, really good. Um, no dramas there. So heading around to the front forks, um, definitely no issues there. Everything like that's great. All of the body and everything is, is awesome on this. <clears throat> so we'll go, we'll head back to this 24 Vanguard. Now, lots of power in this engine. Um, it's got the awesome, uh, canister air filters, air filtration style, um, Donaldson air filter. So that's the go these days. You know, it's awesome. You don't get all the dust and crap, you know, going in through your engine. Um, Look, one thing I'm going to say about the Vanguard um, is it's just, it can be difficult to start in in cold, on cold mornings. Um, and I live in Brisbane, so it's like always pretty hot here. I mean, we don't get a big winter, but even if you haven't been using this thing for a couple of hours, you could have been using it for a couple of hours for some reason, you're doing some other job, pull up to another job in the Arvo, you'd still have to choke that thing. It, it always goes, but... I'm just, you know, some of our other machines have the Kawasaki's on them, and I really prefer the Quackers, um, to be honest. So, a bit more of a Quacker man. Um, there is definitely no plans to replace, the, the Vanguard is staying on this because it's fine. But um, I, I just, I believe that when we're looking for, um, you know, mowers in the future, we will be, you know, choosing the Kawasaki option. Um, okay, so, We've gone over some of the things here. Um, I'm gonna take you back around to the rear and I'm going to remove this pad. Um, very simple design as well. It might be a little tricky to do with one hand. Not too bad. Got it off. Okay. Now we need to address this fuel tank dudes because this is where your fuel tank is. And this thing does not come with a fuel gauge. Now, I don't care how cheap this mower is. Really, what's doing? Like, you need to have a fuel gauge. Um, you know, to make things worse, the tank is black. See, so, like, you just got to guess. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I don't ever run out of fuel and stuff like that. I always make sure I've got to top it up and stuff like that. But... It's really just, honestly, it's just a pain. Um, look, I do believe on the new machines, I, I saw something on social media. Um, you know, Chris Ivana, um, which is the owner of this company, I do believe that they've got clear fuel tanks coming now. Um, but, I mean, why are they ever put black fuel tanks on here without fuel gauges? I mean, I don't know if you guys have fuel gauges in the US, but this one certainly doesn't, and it really sucks. Um, 
So, um, it also didn't come with the hour meter. So, um, you know, look, I believe fuel gauge, hour meter, those sorts of things. Now, you know, we're in 2020, I, mean, I guess I bought this Mar in 2019, but we're just at the age now where, like, you just got to have those things on the muller. Uh, really doesn't matter. I mean, they, they cost nothing manufacturing wise to have on there. So look, um, the only, so the big, so the negatives of this muller in Australian conditions, um, you know, cause I know it doesn't translate, um, you know, our conditions are heaps different over here. Um, you know, we're always belting the grass down super short, um, and in our summer season when we get rain, it's just like constant, you know, the rain's growing overnight, uh, the grass is like growing overnight and it's hectic. But the, the main negatives to this mower is the fuel tank. Um, fuel tank, no hour meter. The height adjuster pin, um, you know, that, that, that option there. And then the actual discharge on the deck. Like, I just don't believe this is very good for Australian conditions. Now, I know the Yanks usually come out, they they mow lawns weekly and they're just knocking off like an inch or something like that. And these mowers do make beautiful stripes. They definitely perform very well in those conditions. Um, my homeboy, Nick Saint, out of um, Ohio somewhere, he's running these. And he has talked about this turbo baffle as well. He's had some bogging down issues. I might just get this for you guys. So this is the baffle that I removed here, um, which just went in, went in under here. So um, that's how that's how it did look. I've I've now removed this to try and get some more airflow and disbursement out of there. So I know Nick said. Um, I don't know if he's got a couple of these mowers, but he, you know, we've had conversations. Um, quick cuts that operates out of, I believe, Georgia. Um, he runs these mowers too, and, and they love them. So um, anyway, this is my 200 hour review um, from Catch Pro down in Australia. Check it out, guys. Thank you.